Now, gas prices are already impacting drivers. Now it'll impact people who actually use the Uber app. Starting Wednesday, you'll see an extra charge on your bill. A year ago today, you would pay around $2.60 at the pump in Kansas City. Today, the average cost of gas in the metro is $3.80. It's like $60 to fill all the way up. Usually, I just don't fill all the way up because I'm hoping that gas prices go back down. I am kind of reserving trips for the weekends or like less days of the week just to save a little. And the surging gas price is causing Uber drivers like Ryan Shriver to rethink where and which hours it's worth it to even work. The amount he spends on gas is doubled while his take-home pay is the same. I kind of made a note in my head about four dollars a gallon. Once it gets over four dollars a gallon, I don't, I'm not going to drive much. This is also why Uber is hoping to help drivers facing record prices at the pump. Under Uber's new policy that goes into effect this week, passengers will pay a surcharge of either 35 cents or 55 cents on each Uber trip or delivery. 100 percent of those proceeds goes into the driver's pockets. And while some say it's better than nothing, others say 50 cents a ride won't make much of a difference. If you do 40 rides, it's um, another $22, which is basically in a Honda Accord like I drive, it's maybe a quarter of a tank. While he doesn't solely rely on rideshare earnings, he says he's overcome several challenges over the years, including the pandemic, gas prices. Well, it may be something he can't. I'm going to drive like normal, um, but if gas prices continue to go up, um, they're going to have to do a lot more than 55 cents a ride to make it really worth it. And Lyft is following in Uber's lead. They announced today that they'll also be adding a surcharge to their bill as well. But Uber says right now this is only temporary, about 60 days, and after that they'll reassess. Kevin.